Okay, so I was struggling a bit with the licensing in the last video that I did. I've since managed to figure out how you do it. Um, basically, ESXi appears to come with a 60-day evaluation license, but you can obtain a license key and enter that via the vSphere client. <clears throat> so to actually locate the license key, you need to log into the VMware website. Now I've gone to my.vmware.com and logged in, and I've got this option here, my download history. Whereas if I click on that, go to my download history, this is basically where I found my license key. Uh, open up the vSphere hypervisor. View downloads and licenses. And then we should have a page. There it is. So the, these are the um, links that I clicked on when I initially downloaded uh, vSphere, which you might recall from an earlier video. But just above, this is the bit I didn't notice, we've got a license key. So we can copy that out into the browser. Go back to the vSphere client. <clears throat> now if we click on inventory, there's our VMware server. Go to configuration and you'll see um, you can select licensed features. And it shows you the evaluation mode and all the details. Now the thing that's easy to miss is to actually update this, there's a tiny little edit button, which is right the way over here in the right hand corner. So if you click edit, here we go, you'll see this is where you can assign the license key. Assign a new key to this host. Enter key. It's placed in the one that we had earlier. Click OK. There we go. So, unlimited CPUs, 32 gigs of virtual RAM per CPU. Okay, that's interesting. I've got 16 gigs in this system, so it looks like we'll be OK. There we go. So, now we're licensed for a free copy of ESXi. Cool. Excellent.